Hi, this is Ashley with BMG Rentals. A common question I get from owners is, can I discriminate or can I pick the tenants that I want in my home? And the answer to that is no. If they qualify based on fair housing laws, you have to give them the opportunity to rent. Fair housing laws dictate that you can't deny someone based on their age, their race, their ethnicity, um, or the way that they get their income. Um, I get a question all the time of people saying, well, I don't want to rent to families with kids. I only want to rent to older retired couples. You can't do that. You can't discriminate uh, against someone based on the type of family that they have. Um, you can always go off of occupancy guidelines. We typically uh, suggest to people that our occupancy guidelines are two people per bedroom plus one extra person. So if you have a family of six applying to live in a two bedroom home, that's not really gonna work. That's, you can kind of get into fire hazard things there. Emotional support animals are part of the ADA. Um, you can put on your advertisements or require in your properties that you have no pets. You cannot, however, if someone has an emotional support animal or a service animal, you cannot discriminate against them and not rent to them based on that if they have the proper documentation. We always require that they bring us a note from a medical professional stating that the animal is necessary, but emotional support animals and service animals are technically considered prescriptions. Legally, emotional support animals can be dogs, cats. Typically, we don't, unless someone has like a big 10 gallon tank, we don't consider birds or fish pets under the guidelines of we need to have an ID on the animals, we need to know exactly what kind of animal is there. Um, what, more, more, what we are more concerned about is free roaming animals, dogs, cats, um, that typically cause greater property damage than something like a hamster or a bird.